In 1997, Kola's superdeep borehole in the Murmansk region was entered into the Guinness Book of World Records as the deepest human invasion of the Earth's crust. But she is not only known for this, the Soviet scientific project was called a well to hell. Why was he called that and what secrets the well really hides, we'll find out in this issue. The Cold War between the USSR and the US was expressed not only in the arms race, but also in the race of science. For example, who would be the first to send a satellite, a man into space, land on the moon, and who would be the first to drill the deepest hole in the Earth? Gold was rising from our planet's mantle. Minerals are being born and diamond rivers are flowing, in some cases bursting up. People have always been curious to know what's out there, but it was during the Cold War that an attempt was made to reach the Earth's mantle. The first were the United States in 1950. The grandiose project called Mohol was supposed to drill to the mantle in Mexico at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. From 1961 to 1966, Americans tried to implement Mohol. When they made a hole 200 meters deep and extracted 10 kilograms of ancient basalt, after spending $40 million, the US Congress decided to shut down the Project Mohol because of the insane cost. In 1970, on the Kola Peninsula, among the wild tundra of the USSR, built a drilling tower height of 20-story house. The drill began its work and fought its way to the mantle for more than 20 years. This is how the Kola Superdeep Borehole appeared. It cost a fortune, but the Soviet Union was determined to win this underground race, the prestige and all the world's science. It is not known what lies in the depths of the Earth. There are only theories. Such super deep drilling is like flying to the stars. It's a journey to nowhere, white leaf and total uncertainty. In 1970, it was harder to get a job at the Kola Superdeep than it was to become an astronaut, a project so classified that the Committee for State Security oversaw. From a hundred applicants were chosen one. Lucky immediately received the keys to a new apartment and a solid salary, so was recruited staff to thousands of people. Drilling round the clock in three shifts, work did not stop for a minute. Drilling took place calmly up to 7,000 meters, but after this mark, work began in less durable layered rocks, and the drilling column often jammed. Such accidents happened regularly, so it was necessary to continue drilling with a deviation. Because of this, the well resembles a tree crown with many branches. In 1983, at a depth of 12,066 meters, Work was suspended in preparation for the International Geological Congress. After the resumption of research in 1984, there was the largest accident, which threw scientists far back. Drilling continued from 7,000 meters. Years passed before the new branch reached a depth of 12,262 meters. In 1995, drilling was stopped for official reasons due to lack of funding. Coincidence or not, it was also in 1995 that a powerful explosion of unknown nature was heard deep in the mine. Journalists of the Finnish newspaper broke through to the people of Zepoliane, and the world was shocked by the story of a demon that flew from the bowels of the planet. In April 1995, a wave of reports swept around the world about a mysterious accident at the Kola Superdeep Borehole. Ostensibly approaching the 13th kilometer discovered a huge cavity. Instruments detected a strange noise coming from the bowels of the planet. <laughs> On the tape, we hear the screams of people and someone else. The newspapers claimed it was the cries of sinners from the underworld. There is an opinion that the audio recording is fake and the sounds are taken from the classic American horror film of 1972, Blood Baron. 
Skeptics believe that no one would lower the microphone to such a depth since a probe with a generator and receiver of vibrations was used for acoustic rock research in those years. The signal bounced off the ground and was transmitted as an electrical impulse to a regular TV. The researchers literally looked at the underground sounds, not listened to them in headphones. It's not known exactly what happened at the depth. Ambient temperature, noise and other parameters are transmitted up with a minute delay. However, drillers say that even such contact with a dungeon can be quite frightening. The sounds coming from below are indeed similar to the cries and howls. To this we can add a long list of accidents that have plagued the Kola Superdeep. Twice the drill was taken out melted, although the temperatures from which it can melt are comparable to the temperature of the surface of the sun. Once the cable was pulled from below and torn off, subsequently, when drilled in the same place, no remnants of the cable were found. What caused these and many other accidents remains a mystery. The head of the project, Kola Superdeep, David Guberman, confirmed that a very strange noise was recorded. Then there was an explosion, and a few days later, nothing of the kind was found at the same depth. At the same time, he said nothing about demons. In 1990, Germany decided to repeat the Russian feat. The super deep drilling project in Bavaria was based on the discoveries and mistakes of the Kola super deep borehole project. The Germans, relying on the Soviet experience, expected to break through further, and the first phase was a depth of 10 kilometers. The Bavarian super deep borehole reached 9 kilometers, breaking through the bottom of an ancient ocean a billion years old was stopped due to the high temperature in the bowels. Having lowered the microphone there, people heard new strange sounds of a deep dungeon. It seems something was coming. The drilling point was chosen on the Kola Peninsula, not accidentally. The peninsula is located on the so-called Baltic Shield, which is composed from the oldest rocks known to mankind. Therefore, during the drilling of the well, many discoveries were made, so it is quite possible to say that she had her own secrets. Previously, geologists believed that ore deposits spread no deeper than three to five kilometers. The researchers found signs of them throughout the borehole. Analyzing the information obtained, scientists came to the conclusion that the entire Earth's crust, which is more than 40 kilometers thick, is saturated with minerals. This means that humanity is not in danger of raw material starvation. For example, at a depth of 9 kilometers, deposits of minerals were found, including gold, 78 grams per tonne, while gold mining is possible at 34 grams. New deposits of copper-nickel ores have also been discovered. Scientists have found that granites do not pass into a super-strong basalt layer, but into Archean Genese. It became a real revolution in geological and geophysical science and completely changed the traditional ideas about the bowels of our planet. At the mark of 9 to 12 kilometers, porous fractured rocks were found, saturated with highly mineralized water. They are responsible for the formation of ores, and it was previously thought to occur at much lower depths. In layers over two and a half billion years old, 14 species of fossilized microorganisms have been found. That shifted the time of life on the planet a billion and a half years ago. Also, at a depth of nine to 12 kilometers, aquifers were found that were never expected to be found. In addition, the thermal map of the subsurface has been corrected. It was believed that the temperature was growing at 10 degrees per kilometer of drilling, but at 12 kilometers, it was recorded at 220 degrees. The lunar soil turned out to be almost completely identical in composition to the rocks extracted from the Kola Superdeep borehole at a depth of three kilometers. This confirms the theory that the moon could have split off from the Earth under the impact of an asteroid impact. 
distant galaxies have been studied by mankind much better than what is under the Earth's crust a few kilometers away from us. The Kohler Super Deep Borehole is a kind of telescope into the mysterious inner world of the planet. By drilling this well, we have learned many interesting facts about the structure of our planet. However, the bowels of the Earth hide many more secrets that scientists have to unravel. That's all from me. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. See you again.